guys didn't name it. It just made it up. A minor sex walk or something like that. Oh, all right, gotcha. It's a good right. sex shoes. Yeah. yeah. So you're on. Oh, here you are on the cover of uh, FHM this month. All right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You're patriotic. Huh? And there are those. Oh. Right. And oh, wait, what are you looking at those when you have them right here? They lie. Yeah, hey, you're right. It's hard to, you know, you're conditioned to looking at the magazine, and then you have. The girl right there in front of you. And why did you wear the uh, fatigues? What is the um, reason for that? I do U.S. Oh, you're for the truth. I am for the truth. Yeah, and uh, actually I just got back from Afghanistan over Thanksgiving and, and visited the troops, so this was sort of my homage to them. You did? Yes, I did. And what <laughs> what did you do over there? <laughs> you know... Did you wear this? Um, I probably wore about this much or maybe really? even a little less. It was hot over there. I went to Oman, Pakistan, Kyrgyzstan, and Afghanistan. Wow, that's yeah. a lot of stands. It's a lot of stands, and uh, but it was great. You know, if you ever get a chance to go over, they would so appreciate really? it and love it. And, really? Yeah. You think they'd let you? No one has invited me to come over there. I can put in the con. I'm sure they'd love to have you. Yeah, and what do you do? Do you go there and you, you, know, you just walk just, around? You know, yeah, you go and you meet different people, guys and girls, in their different stations where they're working. I'm not, uh, a lot of times entertainers go over, whether it's musicians or comedians, and they'll do a stand-up act or they'll play a set. But um, with, with me, I've gone over with different you actors. Your and chest. Stuff. <laughs> it's all about boosting the morale of our troops to protect our freedom. So absolutely, I'll do whatever it takes. Right? I'm a team player. I'm a team player. But um, no, you go and you sign autographs and you, you talk to them and they, and they just tell you these stories of, you know, we didn't think anybody knew we were over here or we just happy to have you here and kind of show your support. And, and then we have like a drawing and then you sleep with one of them? Or how does it... <laughs> No, but that could be something in the future, right? Really? No. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Uh, yes, did you no. sign any balls while you were over there? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're holding them. Yeah, is it true that you're a friend of um, General Tommy Franks? Yes, I am. General Tommy Franks is an amazing man. I got to meet him and fly with him, his aide, and his whole staff while we were in Afghanistan. Does Mrs. General Tommy Franks know about this? <laughs> Mrs. Tommy Franks actually was the coolest woman I've ever met. Really? I, he, I'm like, are you sure? Can I sign this picture for you, for your wife? And I go, do you mind? Because it was a sexy kind of a bikini picture that I signed for him. She goes, oh, she doesn't care. She loves it. I mean, oh, she's no. so cool. I mean, this guy is amazing, and he's running this war right now, but... He's over there, and, and I think he just went into Iraq for the first time, actually. So he's actually been to the front lines now to kind of meet up with the troops. You call, could you call him up and see if You know, I have, an, I have an email in to his aide right now, so hopefully he'll email me back tonight. I told him I was going to be on the show, actually, and that we were going to talk about them, so you guys are going to get this copy. I can only imagine with all that's going on. He's like, oh, I hope I got an email from Leanne. Stop! Oh, hey, it's a little break in the action, you know what I mean? I guarantee you that is, and I'm not being sarcastic, at the top of his list right now. Like, you know what we do with we'll bomb a few palaces and Leanne will send me another email. <laughs> hey, I just sent them out a care package. So. What'd you send them? Um, I sent them some Cuban cigars, because Tommy likes to smoke those. So, I mean, little things of home. Some packets of Oreo cookies, some uh, Slim Jims. Uh, Cuban cigars were the thing of home? So you send them right to Tommy? Whoa. I sent them to CENTCOM, and they will send them on, yes. Really? Yes. Well, you've committed a felony by doing that. <laughs> you can't send oh, Cuban gosh, cigars all over on. the place. Shh. You're going to go to okay, jail. Okay, they, um, they were Honduran cigars. Oh, okay, so I got you. Cigars all right, thing, right. So you send, and you're sending also magazines over there. Yes, you know, actually, FHM was so cool. When we did this, it was pre-war. War, you know, when you do magazines, it's about three or four months in advance. And they knew I had supported the troops and been over there. And they kind of liked the story. So they're like, you know, can we shoot, reshoot your cover? We'll do it sort of patriotic, and whether it's a flag or in camouflage gear. And uh, we reshot it. They dedicated the whole issue to heroes, sort of based on the pending war, kind of my feelings about supporting our troops and stuff. And now it comes out, and the war has been going on for a few weeks now, so it's sort of perfect timing to show our support. And they're going to send over 10,000 copies free to our deployed troops. So wow, that's, that's all right. really cool. I mean, FHM, I mean, for them to do that was awesome. Yeah, that is nice. Of hey, um, you yeah, how many troops uh, How many troops are over there? I think a little more than 10,000. I know. Well, let me I, say. Hey, you know, you know what? Talk to FHM. If we can get over 250,000. Oh, uh, yeah. It's close quarters. You no, can always double up, right? Like in the clubhouse, exactly. Kurt, right? <laughs> you can share one per tent. And you are also a sportscaster, and you're on the best damn sports. Show, period. period. And 54321. And five, what is 54321? 54321 is an action sport, extreme sports show. It's kind of daily topical, five days a like week. What kind of sports? sports. Are Skateboarding, on it. snowboarding. Oh, the one. <laughs> 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 Hey, 
<laughs> the sports with no drug test on, I guess, huh? Right, exactly. Yeah. No. I know what you're saying. But, you know, uh, freestyle motocross, things like that. Do you, you do consider, any of those sports? No. What are you, crazy? And, uh, do you consider those athletes, Kurt? Who? Those men uh, that do the freestyle style um, pogo sticking or whatever the hell they do. <laughs> <laughs> They don't watch that. No, because they uh, the baseball. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. If Leanne came in the locker room while you guys were showering, would you have a problem with that? Um, yeah. You would. Yeah. <laughs> what if she was also naked? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. My wife's watching the show. Oh. Uh, <laughs> see? You think he's I've actually been in the locker room once after a baseball game, and I felt uncomfortable yeah, because I felt like I was in the. He's being S M A R T is what he's being. <laughs> You do, you, so you don't go in the locker room and do I, I have been a couple times after some Yankee games last year, and it's just a very uncomfortable thing for me, even though it's sort of a professional basis. But, right. I mean, you know, you're in their space, and it's like, oh, no, that was so-and-so, but, you know? I'll be through a pressure reminder, all right? Oh, really? Yeah. Just walk by me so yes. I can show you, yes, how to use the soap to strategically cover your parts, all right? We have a, uh, a comedian coming up, uh, Jason Gillard. He's a comedian, and he's also a teacher, and he's going to come make us all laugh in these times of troubles. We'll be right back. Dan,